An attractive friend of mine lives out of state. Is coming. <laughs> Why are you yelling? I don't know. But is coming to my college graduation in about a month. A few days ago, she texted me to say that she is drunk. She's up for having sex with me when she's here for my graduation. Being that she was drunk when she sent these text messages, <sighs> what should my expectations be when I see her? Easy, and is there a way I can tastefully bring up this topic again in the meantime to see if the offer still stands when she is sober? M Missouri loves company. The answer is no. <laughs> well, well, absolutely not. Listen, You're actually listen. asking the way wrong question. In vino veritas, you know? No, no, no. Mm. Here's, here's the thing. It doesn't matter because I would actually posit that probably what it was is she wasn't really that drunk. But she wanted to be drunker than she was to bring out the fact that she wanted to have sex with you when she came in. to visit your school. She's into it. But, it's great. But, but the problem is she gave you too much forewarning. It's going to hang in the air for a fucking month now. Do you taste that? It's like some sexual discomfort in the room. This because fucking it's not going to be casual and easy when she rolls up in town. It's not going to be like, oh, we had such a good time at dinner and things led. Like, you're both going to be sitting there like, so uh, in your heads the whole fucking time. And it's going like, to be the fucking time. Yeah. You're not going to you're not going to enjoy her visit at all because every time it's like, well, I guess we should head home. <laughs> Yawn. Let's go. Can like, we it's... fucking get breathalyzers put on all of our goddamn phones and not so that you, when you get drunk, you don't text people things that you regret? Because guess what? That never actually happens in real life. Mm -hmm. But just so that you don't text people things that you want to tell them, but under any other circumstance wouldn't be okay, except that you've had a few drinks now. And so it's I, totally cool. Well, okay. I actually need to take umbrage with your first point, Griffin. Two nights ago, I had had a bunch of wine, mm -hmm. and I got on Twitter and told people to vote for their favorite between rap music, Lady Gaga, pizza, and ribbon candy. Right. <laughs> so, Which, but let's 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 get pizza real. Pizza one, of course. Of course, pizza one. Um, wait, pizza beat all of rap music. <laughs> um, yes. To, yes. Get, to be fair, the only vote I counted was my own. Okay. Um, that's a thing that you would normally say, though. That's a, that's a, I feel like that is a standard Justin Bone Mall. If you had gotten on there and then t said, like, drop some real racist shit about, like, Pacific Islanders, then that would have, <laughs> that would have been slightly out of character because you. Samoa? No Moa. Yeah. Thank you. Tongan? Tong, Tongan. Get. So the. the... <laughs> Filipino? Filipino. <laughs> that would have been bad. But that's not what you did. Well, what I'm. The ish is the people who, who have, like, three sips of a Smirnoff ice and then call up their best friend since childhood and talk about, you know, how much they want to jump on the tip. Yeah. It drives me I, absolutely fucking bonkers. And I'm glad I that I don't it. have to deal with it as much in, like, my 25-year-old life as I did in my 21-year-old life. I think that the, you should just let things happen naturally. She was drinking. You were... I don't, a guy. <laughs> so so that there. is your excuse there. You were there. Uh, I I mean. Is it possible she can... meant to send it to somebody else? Like your name is Kylo <laughs> and she meant to send it to Kyle. <laughs> is that possible? Maybe she God, pressed the wrong shit. button. Did I send this to Kylo mm -hmm. or Kyle? Oh, fuck. Did I send this to Steven or Sreven? <laughs> <laughs> Happy graduation, Sreven. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Just be a cool cat. There. Okay, I can confirm one thing definitively. There is l absolutely no way for you to text her and say, "So remember earlier when sex? We're you still, we're want still, we, we're still penciled in for sex is, on is your visit. That correct? gonna happen, please? Hey, just give me. I need time to get my wiener ready, so let me know if this is still in the cards. What's it? I don't want to do the thing that I do by myself if I'm going to do that with someone else that day or soon. I so pl so write me back, please. Sincerely, Sreven at Yahoo.com. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that the best, best course of action is to just assume that you're not going to have sex and it's never going to come up again. 
and that that was just a mistake and ignore it. So then when it happens, it's awesome and spontaneous and great. But if it doesn't happen, you're not sitting there the whole time like, so should I like put my arm around her shoulder? Or, like try to kiss yeah, her? Yeah, don't or, put like, that. Don't... don't put that on yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. God, really, this fucking sucks. Please, nobody ever, nobody ever goddamn do this. It's so yeah, hard. Listen. It's so hard walking this social and sexual minefield that is your 20s. Can we not complicate things by like sending people cryptic messages that may or may not, if they can, if they can, you know, figure out the wind talking that you just dropped on them, maybe they'll get fucked. Like, can we please this is what not I don't do understand. that? Why wouldn't you just, why wouldn't you just wait till you go visit Sreven and then just have sex with him? Yeah. Here's a, like, here's why, why, nobody, why ruin the end of the book? Why are you giving him a trailer? Yeah. Like, <laughs> spoiler alert, Sreven. I'm gonna fuck you. I can't adults just have sex like the normal thing and not make a fucking marketing campaign for it? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag uh, fucking Sreven tonight. Get, 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 retweet, get this up in your social. We gotta hit all of our key beats. Mm -hmm. and, you are and really the Facebook group for me and Sreven fucking. <laughs> gotta get this narrative really moving forward. Hashtag gonna make a magnum come uh, loud. And... <laughs> um, we're gonna we're exploring guerrilla marketing, which don't ask. It is highly dangerous.